false. Number four, Eric helped us. True or false, do you agree or disagree? Pick out your true or false papers. Look at your assignment and look at Eric's answer. Do you agree, true, or disagree, false? Okay, perfect. And number five. Who helped us with number five? Jackie. Jackie, agree or disagree with Jackie's number five? N plus one times the quantity n squared minus six. Double check,
So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Only the integers are your terms. Okay, so what's my A value? Write this down. The number? Three. Is it 3x? Three no. Just 3, just five, numbers. 5, five and two. 2. What you're going to do is, you can do either one, the uh, diamond method or the product sum. You're going to multiply the A times the C. So 6 on top. And then the B is still 5. So 6 and 5. What times what equals 6 but adds up to 5? Put it into a Remember, this is 3 times 2. Eric, we're going to multiply the A times the C. So in the diamond, it's A times the C with the B on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I heard it. 3 and 2. 3 and 2. Now, instead of what we normally do, since this is factored by grouping, remember on our assignment, there's four terms. So what we need to do is come up with those four terms. And what you're going to actually do is, instead of this B, X, you're going to come up with two terms in here. Okay? And how you find that is using these two factors. So look at step four. I'm sorry, step three. So you're going to rewrite it, 3x squared plus, what do you put here? 3x plus 2x plus the 2. So instead of 5x, what am I writing? 3x plus 2x, because those are my two factors, right? And then from there... Does it matter which way you put it? Um, does it matter which way you no. put it? What do you think? Why do you think I want to put the 3 here and the 2 here? I heard... Is it because the three is greater? No. Does that matter? No. Raymond, what do you think? I heard it. Yes. Remember, we have to find the greatest common factor. So what's the greatest common factor? Can we find it if we put this here and then this here? So just like our last assignment, factor out the greatest common factor. What's my greatest common factor? 3x squared and 3x. 3x and 2x. 3x, and what's inside the parentheses? 3x um, plus, plus 1. x plus 1. And what's my greatest two, common factor two, here? Two, two. And x what's inside? One. x plus 1. What Positive. repeats? X plus one. What's left over? 3x plus 2. Do you see where we were so working backwards? X. Because what did I tell you guys to do first? I told you to do the four terms first to get to the greatest common factor. And then from there, just like what we did in the very first assignment, you had to identify what they have in common, the highlighted part, and what's left over. Okay? Look at, set, uh, look at B. Go ahead and figure out A, B, and C. So you should be doing um, B, 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Figure out the ABC. Figure out what our two factors are. Repeat. 
Okay. Try to do part C and part D by yourself. Go ahead and do C and D by yourself. Fill in the blank. Thank you. 
factor out the greatest common factor, right? So all of it comes together. We're going to finish this um, on Wednesday, but I want you guys to just be able to show me that you at least did the first objective, the very first objective. Jeffrey, can you read it, please? I will determine the best technique to factor very polymer. Okay, so on your exit slip, numbers one through five, all I want you to do is circle the best technique to factor that polynomial. And if you can, get started for number six, seven, and eight, which is factor by grouping method. If you just show me what you can, you can use your notes, but do not discuss it with each other. Try to do numbers one through five first and attempt to do Six, seven, and eight for your exit slip. Name, date, period. Okay. Yeah. So, which one do you want? Do your exit slip right now. So, white sheet and pass it to the middle. Once you're done with the exit slip, just put um, put it upside down and staple everything else together. Clean up your area also quietly. Put everything in the bag. Hold on. Okay, finish it up. Really quickly, just one through five then. Numbers one through five. Don't worry about grouping. If you're done, go ahead and pack up and give me your exit slip at the door. So just do numbers one through five, it's okay. So that's going to pack you for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>